Welcome to WeTrack. We are delighted to have you with us. In this video, we introduce our project management system, helping you to understand how the module works and begin creating, viewing, and updating your projects and tasks. Before we dive into it, let's take a step back and outline how project management works in WeTrack. A project is a distinct set of work with an achievable endpoint. It can consist of a few hundred tasks or fewer than 20. A task is a basic unit of work in WeTrack, which could last for one day or for several months. Tasks can be minor actions which just require monitoring or very important milestones upon which your whole project depends. Tasks in the same project can be grouped into task groups for further categorization. Tasks can also be divided into smaller subtasks. These tasks and subtasks are then assigned to departments and owners, who are the people doing the work. There are plenty of other ways to categorize your projects and tasks, such as using tags. The RAG system is the colored rating system which indicates task progress in WeTrack. There are five options. Gray represents tasks that have not yet started. Blue represents tasks that are complete. And the traffic light system of red, amber, and green can be used for tasks that have slipped behind, are in danger of slipping, or are not on track. Now let's get into the system. To access WeTrack, an admin user must first invite you to the system. Click on the link in the invitation email, create a password, and set your notification preferences. Then you'll see your organization's WeTrack system for the first time. You'll arrive at this MyTrack page. We'll keep coming back here, as it's a really useful hub for your work in WeTrack. It shows your overdue, upcoming, pinned, and personal tasks. You can edit a lot of information directly in this view. MyTrack sits in the left-hand sidebar next to Reports. In the rest of the sidebar, you can navigate through different views within the Project Management module. Projects and Tasks is the primary place to go to view all of your work. The toolbar at the top of the page lets you search by keyword for any information in the module, the information you can see, or create new information. Filters allow you to drill down into the information you really want to view on any page, and you can save favorite filters to make them easier to reapply. Next, we'll show you how to create new projects and tasks in WeTrack. You can always go to the top right-hand corner of any WeTrack page to do this. Simply click Add and select what you want to create. Here, let's create a task. For any item type you choose, and no matter where you are in the WeTrack system, an Add modal will appear, allowing you to input any mandatory and optional information for the item. As shown, input a title and any other necessary information before clicking Save. You will find options to create new items in a variety of places around the WeTrack system. For example, you can add task groups and tasks within a project, subtasks within a task, and any item at the top of a list of that item type. In each case, a modal will appear with the available required and optional fields. Let's now look at finding information. We've already mentioned MyTrack. Here you can find your overdue, upcoming, pinned, and personal items, clicking into any of them for further detail. The place to go to find all of your projects and tasks is the Projects and Tasks tab in the left-hand sidebar. Here are lists of your projects, task groups, tasks, departments, and department categories. Remember, you can use the filters at the top of the page to display the information you need to see. Each item is displayed in a card, which shows information pertaining to the item. You can use the Sort slash Edit button at the top of the list to choose which information is displayed on the cards. Let's click on a project card to go to that project details page for full information about the project. This page gives an overall summary of the project, the task groups, and the tasks it contains, any risks, issues, and opportunities, any comments or attachments, the people and groups responsible for its completion, and much more. In the top half of the page, you can find all the details about the project, as well as its location and subscribers. In the bottom half of the page are tabs that reveal greater information about the items within or associated with that project. You can also add task groups and tasks to the projects in these tabs. Simply click Add Task Group or Add Task to bring up the Add modal. Now let's click into the Tasks tab. 
The task cards you see here are the same as anywhere else in the WeTrack system, MyTrack and the Projects and Tasks homepage, for example, and they show key details about the tasks. As with projects, let's click into a card to view the task details page. This is similar to the project details page with key information, location, and subscribers in the top half of the page and associated items in the bottom half. Here is where you're able to add and remove dependencies and create and view subtasks. Simply click Add Subtask or Add Dependency in the relevant tab to bring up a modal to create either of these. In the History tab, you can leave a comment on an item. Use the new At Mention functionality to notify a teammate of your comment. You'll now see in the left-hand side panel the hierarchy of items that we've been looking at. The project and task group that this task sits in are displayed along with a list of other tasks in the same task group. This allows you to quickly navigate between similar or related items. We won't go into these areas now, but the Gantt chart and the calendar view are two other key places to view your project and task information in WeTrack. Check out our support center, available by clicking the question mark in the bottom left-hand corner of any WeTrack page for full introductions to these areas. We've now covered the key steps to navigate through the WeTrack project management module and view the information within. Let's now look at how to edit information. The premise of editing in WeTrack is that anywhere you can see a piece of information, you can edit it. You can edit a task or subtasks rag status wherever you see it. Simply click on a rag bubble and select a new color. You can include a comment if you wish. If you're changing the rag status to red or amber, leaving a comment is mandatory. You can edit any information you see in a details page, either hover over the information you wish to change and click Edit, or, if it is an item of information selectable from a dropdown, click on the information and choose a new option. You can also edit any information you see in a card. This might be in my track or could be in a list of projects and tasks elsewhere. Simply click on the piece of information you want to change type or select the new information and click Apply. You can also edit the title of any item by hovering over the title, clicking the blue Edit button that appears, and typing a new title, then clicking Save. One of the most popular areas of the WeTrack system is our Reporting Center, found in the left-hand sidebar. Sets of filters allow you to build a bespoke report. Report sections can be layered to give a fuller, more custom report. Favorite reports can be saved and suggested to other members of your team, and reports can be downloaded to PDF or Excel. To get started, click Build a new report in the right-hand side of the page. Select the module and the item type that you want to report on. Add any filters, choose which columns you want to display, and input a title or description. Then you can add another section to the report or preview it straight away. This takes you to the Report Previewer, where you can view the report. In the top right-hand corner, you can download the report, share the report, or save it as a favorite or suggested report. To share it with yourself or other members of your team, click Share, give the whole report a title and description, choose the users you wish to share it with, and then select a frequency and start an end date for the report to be shared. Once you have filled in all the necessary information, click Save to set up the sharing. This report will then be visible in the Shared Reports tab of the Reports homepage. The final key area to show you is WeTrack's Notification Center. Found by clicking on the bell icon in the bottom left-hand corner of any WeTrack page, users can now see their notifications within the WeTrack system for the first time. A number will display next to the bell, revealing how many unread notifications you have. The Notification Center allows users to see a headline update of changes to items which they own or subscribe to. Click on a notification to be taken to the history feed of an item that is changed. Mark notifications as read and unread and clear them, and view other news and updates sent from the WeTrack team. This center is designed to boost communication and collaboration within your WeTrack system, helping you to stay on top of items and updates that require your attention. Also, in the bottom left-hand corner of any WeTrack page are our support options. 
Click on the question mark and then choose to either view our Help Center or enter our live chat support. Our Help Center has almost 200 articles explaining different aspects of the WeTrack system, and you can search by keyword to quickly find the article you need. If you want to ask us a question directly, feel free. Select Chat to our team and one of our friendly team will respond within minutes. At the very bottom of the left-hand sidebar, you can click on your avatar to bring out My Preferences or log out. In My Preferences, you can update your profile, password, or notifications. This is the end of our introduction to WeTrack's project management module. We hope you've learned plenty, and we know there's still a lot more to explore. Our Help Center is the first place to go if you want to learn about risks, issues and opportunities, settings and permissions, or any other WeTrack functionality or module. Or just get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching this video, and take care.